Um, walk me through. I know it, it got adventurous there in the second half. Walk me through the good, the bad, your entire well, you know, assessment. I think we did a really good job for a while there, you know, get them 19-5, 19, something, 19 six, something like that, and do a good job. And then we started following, and I think we kind of bought into all their minutia and all the extra pushing and extra things they were kind of getting into, and we bought into that and started following them. And then the referees got pretty involved in the game and upgrading some things. So we got to just do a much better job there and uh, not buy into all that stuff. And so that's on me, and we'll make sure we do a better job of that. So a little disappointing how we handled it, but in the end, we made enough plays to get it done. You know, we scored 26 goals. You know, we obviously got to work on our man, man, man down. You know, giving up nine man, man down goals and making it easy on them a little bit to do some things. So we'll be toughing up and get it. But you know, playoff lacrosse is a, anything can happen. So a lot of crazy things happen. So we just got to do a better job um, with that and uh, handling it. But I'm proud of our guys that we gr grunted it out and get there. And, and it's great that we get to play uh, for a compass championship in our own in our own field. We're going to talk to one of your veterans in a second, but I, I just want to keep going back to your first years because both. Both Curtis and Gossin, I mean, well, I guess yeah. Gossin's not a – but you know what I mean, these younger players yeah. that in this first playoff experience, they, they look completely ready to go. Yeah, they made a few mistakes. I thought they could handle better, but they were ready to go. And they've come so far from the year. You know, they weren't – you know, Gavin started at the beginning of the year, then he wasn't, and Darrell really didn't play a whole lot until on the extra man until about mid-year. And so they're really just coming on, feeling their way. And they're playing tough, and they shoot the ball really well. They ride well. They're good at ground balls. You know, they, and they play so hard. So it's really great to see, and I'm happy for them. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to see your first-year guys starting to really come around. But we got some other ones, too. Aiden, you know, he played a ton uh, as a first-year yeah. guy. 63 played a ton as a first-year guy. Bradley Bennett, face-off guy for us we had to go to. He's a first-year guy um, out there, number one. You know, Hunter is a first-year guy. So, you know, we had a lot of first-year guys that we were uh, throwing out there. You mentioned Bradley Bennett. Both he and Danae had to step up tonight after uh, Connor was sidelined early. What was your assessment of how they handled themselves? I thought that, you know, we just got, I think we got to do a little bit better job with them. I don't think they were quite ready because you know, didn't think Connor was going to get hurt, obviously, but they'll get there. And I think we'll work well in practice the next couple days. And, you know, they'll get there. They did some good things. They did some things with the ball that probably didn't go into the right spots. But, you know, in the end of the day, they did enough for us to get by. Uh, Coach, you know, this is going to be a championship game here at Stevenson University on Saturday night. And I know you're going to expect a big crowd and a great atmosphere, but Absolutely. how much do you have to remind your team, hey, any past results and, and anything that happened in the previous game doesn't matter when it comes to a championship? Well, we reminded them that early, you know, in this game as well, you know, and I think we got caught in that minutiae. You know, we got up pretty big and then we got let them kind of get back. And I think that's a great lesson for us to learn. The last year we played them here, we got down 9 5 at the half. Uh, but, you know, I think we'll handle the situation well. You know, I think we're passing the ball well on offense and making teams pay for their mistakes. And defensively, I think, you know, we just can't foul. we got to cut the foul and the penalties, and that's what really killed us is the fouls. All right, Coach, congratulations on a great win. Can't wait to see you back here Saturday night. Me too. Thanks a lot.